Hello handy beaders! I've designed uh, a new bracelet and as I promised you uh, I will show you how to make this bracelet today. Uh, it is made of uh, mini duo and hexagon beads and I'm in love with this design. As you can see um, I have it here and uh, this one is double-sided because I've used uh, double-sided hexagon beads. So one side is uh, gold and the other is bronze. Uh, and this bracelet is uh, really nice uh, on the wrist, as you can see. Uh, you can play uh, with this pattern because uh, it's very versatile and uh, you can add more to it. For example, you can add um, more rows, so it will look like a honeycomb, uh, especially uh, with the using this kind of beads. Uh, or you can embellish those beads uh, which are here, uh, so it will look more like lace or something. So. You can play with this bracelet um, and <laughs> I have to tell you I went for um, this kind of clasp but it's not so practical uh, because it's double-sided so on one side I have the clasp as it should be like this but when I want to switch to, uh, to the other side, I have to close it like this. <laughs> so it's not very practical. Uh, I recommend to use another type of clasp when you are doing a double-sided bracelet. So let's do this. Here are the items you will need to make this bracelet. First of all, you will need mini duo beads. I'm using gray mini duo beads. Then you will need hexagon beads, double sided, um, double hold hexagon beads. I'm using uh, bronze gold hexagon beads. To add your clasp. Uh, you will need some seed beads. I'm using Mayuki, I think it's 10 10-0 seed beads uh, in grey color. And then um, you will need a clasp of your choice, either lobster claw clasp with the jump ring and the chain to adjust the circumference of your wrist or toggle bar toggle ring clasp with the jump rings or magnetic clasp is up to you you can choose a clasp of your choice and then of course you will need some stringing material uh, I have a monofilament thread here uh, it's 0 0.2 millimeters thick so, on a filament thread. Um, if you are used to work all with needles, uh, you can use needles as well. And add one needle on each end of your thread. All the items and materials you will need, there will be in the description part of this video. So, you can find it there. As you may remember, the last video tutorial I made was on how to make a snake chain using regular seed beads. Uh, today uh, we will do the exact same thing, uh, just with mini duo beads, so they are uh, two hold beads. So we will have to progress up the second hole to make another circle and progress until we will have the desired length of our bracelet. It will be uh, easy as it was in the previous video, but uh, there will be uh, another step. So let's 
take a look on this. Cut a piece of thread and I've decided to use uh, needles on each of my ends uh, and I will be using a long needle and short needle or one which is longer than the other uh, so it'll, it will be easier for you uh, to see what I'm doing um, and the reason why I decided to use needles is because of the softness of this thread uh, because um, of the thickness uh, it is only 0.2 millimeters thick, so it is quite soft uh, to pick uh, beads on it uh, without a needle. Uh, so I decided to use needles, but it's, as always, it's up to you what you want to use. So I will pick uh, three beads on my long needle. And with a short needle, I will go through the last bead uh, I've added uh, through the same hole, uh, just opposite direction. So crisscrossing the same hole and the same bead. Then uh, holding needles together, I will put everything down and form a circle of uh, mini duo beads. As we are progressing, uh, we want to end uh, of the second hole of the same bead uh, because of uh, the second circle in our uh, beaded chain. So going through the upper hole will be the thing we want to do so with the short needle going through the upper hole from right to left and pulling with the longer needle i will go uh, through the same hole just opposite direction And pulling it tight. When you pull it really tight, uh, you will have a circle of three beads, and you will end here um, in the second hole of uh, the last bead you have added. Now I have uh, the longer needle uh, in my right hand, so I will pick two beads and slide them down and then I will pick uh, the short needle which is supposed to be uh, in my left hand and go through the last bead of this current circle uh, through the same hole just the other direction so crisscrossing and then I will pull everything down. So we will have the same X we had when doing the snake chain on uh, regular beads. So now I have uh, the short needle in my right hand and I want to progress uh, up so I will go through the second hole of the same bead from the right side to the left and pull it, putting the needle aside and then I will take the other needle which has stuck here and go through the same hole in the opposite direction and pull it tight so our beautiful X is born <laughs> okay 
So remember, as we did adding two beads on the right uh, needle or mm, right thread, and then adding two beads on the left thread, so we will do this just the same. Picking the left thread, uh, which is the one with uh, the short needle, I will pick two beads. One and two and slide them down and with the longer needle uh, I will go through the last bead uh, we picked and uh, I will go the opposite direction. Then Pulling it tight, I have a very long thread, so for me uh, it takes some time to pulling it down. So now you can see uh, we are doing the same, we have a W here. But to continue we have to go through the second hole of the same bead. So picking the right needle, which is the short one, we will go through the same bead, just the second hole. And then with the left needle, which is the long one, we will go through the same bead and same hole, just the other direction. and pulling it tight so our beautiful double V is here and then doing just the same on the long right needle pick two beads and then Crisscross the last bead with the left needle, which is this short one, and pull it down. Oh, my work is traveling around here <laughs> because of the length of the thread. Now we are here again. So uh, we are exiting uh, out of the uh, bottom hole, so we need to go up through the same bead. With a short needle in my right hand, I will go up through that bead. Oh. It's catching around everything, this thread. It's really long. When I pull it, we are here, and with the, the other needle, which is the long one in my left hand, I will go through the same bead and the same hole, just the opposite direction. So we are here again forming another another sorry uh, W. Now oh, we have added uh, two beads on the right side, so we have to continue with the left side uh, by adding two uh, beads on the short needle. one and two and sliding it down and oh, with the long uh, needle in my right hand I will go uh, through the same hole uh, in the opposite manner so crisscrossing it and then pull everything down
So again, we uh, have started another W. As we are here uh, on the bottom of the B, we need to go up. With the right short needle, I, I will go through the same bead, just uh, the upper hole. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and then I will take the long needle with my left hand and go through the same bead, the same hole in the opposite direction. I hope you can see it. <laughs> we uh, have added uh, two beads. Uh, on the left side of our thread so we have to continue uh, with the right needle this is the long one adding two beads sorry there were three of them and we need only two of them crisscrossing the last bead oh, with the left short needle and pulling it down I hope it will catch again somewhere <laughs> oh sorry I'm not <laughs> so we are here again with the right short needle I will go through the upper hole of the same bead and pull it, it tight and uh, with the left needle I will go through the same bead uh, in the same hole just the opposite direction so I will move my needles up this bead now I have added two beads on my right um, end of my thread so I will need uh, to add two more on the left side so I will take the left needle and pick two beads I'm right handed so this is quite difficult for me and uh, crisscrossing uh, the same bead and same hole with the right long needle. My left hand is not handy. <laughs> Pulling everything tight and bringing the beads down. The next logical step is uh, to step up the same bead. Just second hole. With the short needle in my right hand, I will go through that bead. And with the long needle in my left hand, I will go through the same bead and the same hole in the opposite direction. And pull it tight, like this. So another step will be adding two beads on the right needle and crossing the last with the uh, left needle, stepping up the same bead and then adding two beads on the left needle, uh, crossing the last bead with the right needle and stepping up uh, the bead and so on and so on uh, until uh, you have uh, the desired length. The bead uh, which is sticking out will be sticking out uh, uh, in the left. So then we will continue, then we will make uh, a turn and go uh, down uh, the opposite direction and we will make the net uh, of the beads and then we will um, add the hexagon beads uh, in the middle of uh, uh, each ring. 
so we will end up having our bracelet. Now you have a chain of uh, mini duo beads and don't worry if it seems uh, a bit short because it will stretch a bit when adding uh, hexagon beads and I told you to uh, end this um, side or this strip um, by uh, adding the beads so uh, these um, ends of thread uh, are uh, heading right and um, the last bead which is sticking uh, out of the chain uh, is the one which is uh, sticking out left as uh, the first bead uh, of this chain so now we want to do the same thing as we did uh, doing the basic um, snake chain uh, we, uh, we want to turn around and uh, go down uh, the opposite direction and close the uh, circles, the um, hexagon shaped circles so then we can add uh, hexagon beads and uh, now we want to add two more beads uh, on the right uh, long needle and go uh, the last bead uh, edit uh, by the left needle and pulling everything down now we want to go up the same bead as we did um, throughout this chain and now oh, we don't want to add uh, two more beads on the left side um, we want to add two more beads on the right side so we will uh, turn back so take the right needle I think this one is the long one and pick two beads slide them down take the second needle or the second end and go through the last bead uh, you have added in the opposite direction again through the same hole just the opposite direction and now oh, we started to turn around going through the same bead uh, just the second hole we want to uh, take our needles up this bead the left one from the left side to the right now we are exiting uh, out of the bead um, which is which will be uh, in the center of this strip and we want to make another turn so again on the right needle we want to add two more beads and crisscrossing the last bead with the left needle now when pulling it you can see there's a hexagon uh, starting to shape here so I like to turn the work so it will be easier for me to work with like this and I want to go up 
the same bead so we can make another circle okay so going up this bead with the right needle and then with the left but I have to go through it with my right hand because uh, I'm holding the work in my left hand and so when pulling everything tight now we have how much beads? five so we have uh, have to end at another circle and join this uh, bead which is sticking out so adding two more beads on the right side of our thread this needle is longer and crossing crisscrossing with the left needle same bead same hole just the other direction pulling it down and again we have to go up this bead so we can make another circle with the right needle I will go up pull it aside and with the left needle I will go up as well it's really hard to <laughs> hold it in my hand so you can see it and work simultaneously like this and now as I told you in the previous video uh, we are making uh, the circle of uh, six beads so when counting one two three four five six um, it's the whole circle we have to join these two beads again as we did uh, when learning the basics the basic stitch so with the left needle I will go through the bead uh, which is here and pulling it tight now uh, when I when I will pull it you can see there is one bead missing so I have to add one more bead and crisscross with the other end of my thread Sorry, I can adjust it like this. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with you, camera? Okay, uh, we have to step up this last bit. We are exiting out of, uh, so we can add another circle with the right needle go through the same bead just the other hole it's sketching everywhere and with the left needle go through the same bead and the same hole in the opposite direction so we have started uh, to make another circle of six beads now uh, when you can count it like this uh, there are five beads in this circle so i have to add one more by adding two beads on the right needle and crisscrossing the last bead edit with my left needle so when I pull it there will be six beads 
in the new circle. I have to go up the same bead through the second hole with my right needle and up the same bead through the second hole in the opposite direction with the left needle. Okay, here we go with the six beads in the circle, but we have to join these beads. So I will put it down and take the left needle, go through this bead, and then you will have only two beads in the circle, then that you will have to add one more like this. So we can one bead and crisscrossing through the same hole with the second needle. Then pull it down. and going through the same bead with the right needle and with the left needle and there are five beads one, two, three, four, five in the third circle so we have to Add more beads to uh, on the right needle, crisscrossing the last with the left needle and pull. And now you can see there are six beads, so all we have to do is join them by stepping up the same bead with the right needle and in the opposite direction with the left needle and then joining this together and again we are here missing one bead so pick one end of your thread and add one bead and then crisscross with the other end you are forming the fourth uh, circle of your bracelet so you have an idea so go on and make uh, the hexagons or the circles and then uh, come back and we will add uh, the hexagon beads uh, in those little boxes uh, we have prepared. The basic net for hexagon beads is done. Uh, so the next step should be uh, adding our hexagon beads uh, but I've decided uh, to make a loop here uh, on this end uh, because I want to use only one piece of thread and don't want to um, do it more times uh, I want to do it once uh, with one piece of thread so um so we end it here and we will work only with this right thread uh, because the left is uh, in the opposite direction and it um, won't be useful for us so we are working only with this uh, right thread Going through the last bead we have added, through the second hole and then add our seed beads 
I don't know the exact number, but we will see when we will try it. So maybe four, five, six, seven, maybe seven of them. I will try it first. Let's see. I think seven is the right number. Um, I want to make it more um, strong so I will go through it a few more times with the same uh, thread and now I'm here and I want to go through the beads uh, so I can enhance uh, this loop so I will go through the same mini duo bead, just the second hole, and pull it tight. Then uh, go through the uh, nearest hole of the second mini duo in this circle, and through the same bead, just the other hole. And through the next bead and through the same bead just the other hole and you can continue into the loop go through the beads of the loop and through the mini duo here and maybe I can go through the whole circle once more. Now we have to go through it once more because uh, we want to end uh, here, okay? So go through the same bead, just the other hole. Through the next bead of the next mini duo. And through the second bead of the same duo. And through the last beat. So we are here as we ended uh, the basic strip. One needle is pointing right and one needle is pointing left. So, um, we have to go uh, through the beads, which are uh, forming the begin beginning of the hexagon shaped box. So, with the right needle, go through the nearest hole of uh, the next bead. We are exiting here. And we are going there. So now we have our right thread uh, in the box. Okay, do the same with the left thread. And we are here. I don't know if you can see it, but we are exiting out of this bead go in this direction left so we have to go through the next bead and now we are right here okay so I will take my hexagon beads 
and I will pick a one hexagon bead for one box and um, what I have to tell you is that you have to pick uh, the right side of the bead uh, so you will have one side of your bracelet uh, for example in gold and the second side will be in bronze so I have to take this right needle here and pick one hexagon bead for now it's uh, it doesn't matter which side will be up and which side will be on the other side so I pick the bead like this and I think uh, this bronze side will be the side which I'm looking on right now so we are exiting out of this bead and we want to go in the diagonal direction so we want to go here okay the thread is still too long for me and we will we will put the bead uh, in the box of six mini duo beads but there is another needle in our left hand and we go uh, we should go uh, through the second hole okay don't get lost here so when I pull it there will be this one bead in the window of six beads uh, but I'm still holding the left needle so I have to go through the mini duo we have to exit out of uh, mini duos so when I pull it it will pop into its place like this okay now um, the right needle is here in the next box we have to move the left needle into the box of mini duo beads so we can add more uh, hexagon beads or another hexagon so now we are here and we have to add another hexagon on the right side of your thread uh, pick one hexagon bead and you have to go the right direction the right hole uh, if you want your hexagon beads to uh, face up um, with the same color so I hope I've picked it right okay it's great because it's the right hole and the right direction and then go uh, through the nearest hole of mini duo bead like this uh, in the diagonal way here and when you pull the bead it will pop into its place but you have to go through the second hole as well so pick another needle and go through the bead and go through the mini duo bead here now with the left needle you are in the circle of six beads but the right needle is here um, 
heading uh, away from the circles so you have to go into the circle of six mini duo beads so you can add another hexagon bead so pick another hexagon bead in the right direction and go through the mini duo bead here and go to the second hole with the left needle and again right needle is here and when you will go through the nearest hole of mini duo with the left needle you will have it sticking out here's the right needle and here's the left so again go into the circle of six mini duo beads and then there's a time for another hexagon bead so um, work uh, this way until you will have uh, all your beads in the place and um, your bracelet will be uh, ready for finishing I finished the bracelet by adding a loop uh, on this side uh, you can do this uh, the same way as you did um, at the beginning uh, and now my threads uh, are facing uh, one another so I can tie a knot here or uh, I can go for uh, half hitch knots with uh, each of these uh, tails I will do it at once here and when you will have your bracelet done, uh, you can add a clasp of your choice, as I told you at the beginning. I'm not going to uh, tie a surgical knot uh, because uh, I think there are uh, too little space uh, in this mini duo. So, uh, I think I won't be able to go through it. I like to use <coughs> this kind of uh, passing through the beads to hide the knot which is right here now and when I pull it down it will pop into the hole of the bead so it's not visible so go on and end your bracelet and you can play with this pattern uh, with this design add more rows for example uh, on the right side on the left side or uh, use another um, color or shape of beads I think this one is really pretty uh, with the bronze color on one side and the gold on the other side so have fun and I will be happy to see your designs on my Facebook page all the important links uh, there will be uh, in the description uh, part of this video below this video so you can find a uh, link on my Facebook page or you can find a link uh, on snake chain uh, made with seed beads video tutorial uh, you can find all the materials and items uh, with the sizes and uh, number of it down there and uh, if you have some question feel free to ask I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'm sorry uh, that it was uh, so long, uh, but I'm feeling not in shape to explain so something to somebody. 
So I hope you understand this tutorial and see you later with another video. Happy beating everyone, bye bye!